else uh, next week. Okay, so here is the uh, art workbook that we've been working on for the past, I don't know, four times that we've met. And we're almost to the end, and I do want to finish it today. So let's go over the second to last page. And it's talking about perspective. So flip to this page right here so you guys can see it. If you don't have the workbook, just uh, pin me so you guys can see it bigger on your screen. So you guys want to do that. All right, so perspective. Perspective is one of those principles of design I want to talk about. And there's three different types of perspective. Perspective is a way that we see things. And the three kinds of point of view that we use in art are bird's eye, normal, and bird's eye, uh, and then bug's eye. So let's talk about all three. And you guys probably know what all of them are, but let's go over them real quick. All right, so bird's eye. Bird's eye is when you look at things from above like a bird, and you can see the tops of buildings and cars, but you can't see underneath. So basically, if you pretend to be a bird, and you take a picture, that's kind of like what you see. So that's called bird's eye. Next one, normal eye view. Normal eye view is when you look at things from in front, like a person, you see the fronts of buildings and cars, but can't see underneath or on top. So basically that's kind of like the normal version of how we view images and stuff and portraits. That's called normal eye view. And last one, this one's called bug's eye view. So this is when you're looking at things from below, like a bug. Uh, you can see the bottoms of things and cars, but you can't see the tops of things. So if you're looking from like the floor, or if you're like laying down and you're like looking up, that's called a bug's eye view. All right, so we're not gonna do anything art related when it comes to perspective. I wanna save that for older grades. So maybe next year in the middle or end of fourth grade or beginning of fifth grade, We'll talk more about perspective. I just think it's a little bit difficult for third grade. So we're gonna flip over and go to this next one. All right, this page is called Artist Statement. This one looks kind of boring right now, but I promise you, it'll look more and more, more fun once I talk about what you're gonna be doing with it. Because last class, they had absolute fun. As a matter of fact, they didn't even finish. So, Artist Statement. Raise your hand if you've ever been to a museum before. I haven't been to a museum before or like, uh, an outdoor park no one only just one person been to a museum that's hard to believe all right there's more hands there we go all right so in a museum you'll normally see something beside a piece of artwork such as like an index card size like plaque or maybe like something the size of like uh, a post-it note it has a couple things on those things those are called artist statements so maybe it can have the title of the artwork it can have like the date it was made or maybe it can have a paragraph or a couple sentences talking about what the artwork is about in the museum, right? So that's basically what I wanna talk about, and that's called the artist statement. It is important to be able to write an artist statement about your own work. An artist statement tells people who look at your art how you feel about it and what you want them to know. So before we go over all of these, I wanna talk about your options here. These are your options. So you're gonna pick one of these things, and then you're gonna either draw it on a blank sheet of paper, like this, or you can draw it on the reverse side of the packet. So a blank spot would be right over here. So you wanna draw on this little section you can. So the three options again are, or I haven't talked about it yet. The three options are, number one, favorite food, such as like dessert or snack or something else. Number two, Favorite animal. If you can't think of a favorite animal, you could do also a favorite place, like Disney World or something. Option number three, favorite activity. So maybe you can draw like you playing game or a favorite sport. Maybe you like the game Among Us. Maybe you want to draw that and stuff like that. So those are your three options. I want you guys to pick one of those things. So either draw your favorite activity, game, sport, favorite animal or place, or draw your favorite food. So I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes. And you guys are going to be doing that either on a blank sheet of paper or on the reverse side right here. I will leave the options right here. And then I'm going to continue my drawing that I was working on last class. I was drawing a husky. So on your own right now, I'll still be here. We'll also be here. Mrs. Halder, Mrs. F, we will all be here. Still here to be with you guys. I think there's another teacher in here too. 
I don't remember who. All right, so anyways, um, so right now on your own, pick one of these three examples and draw it on your own right now. And now I'll talk to you guys about what goes on that artist statement on that last page, okay? So work on drawing one of these three things right now. Mr. Again, you can draw anything you want. Yes, question. Can we like, when you mean by games, can we like draw video games or stuff? Yeah, that's why I, that's why I gave Among Us or Minecraft as an example if you want to draw that instead. Oh, yay. Yeah. So go ahead. You have about three to three to five minutes. How's that? Three to five minutes. That should be plenty of time. And I will consider consider um, finishing my drawing. You don't have to color if you don't want. I'm just coloring because I have time. Because I worked on this uh, last class. All right, so you guys should be drawing one of the three examples again. Favorite sport, favorite animal, favorite food. If you don't see the thing that you want to draw on this list, go ahead. I will allow it this just as once. All right, so I'm almost done. And then I'm going to talk about what goes on that last page of your workbook. All right, a couple more, maybe like a minute or two, because we do end class at, in five minutes or six minutes. And if you don't finish on time, that's okay. You always do it on your own time. That's fine with me. If you want to do what I did, I autographed the bottom of my page. You can autograph your page too to make it look like a real artist picture. There you go. All right. I'm going to remove uh, this uh, list because you don't need this list anymore. You guys should be already drawn already. I'm going to leave this right here. Okay, so that's my picture. If you guys want to hold yours up, you can. You don't have to. But if you want to hold it up so people can see, you can. Oh, nice job, Isabel. Uh, Isabel, nice job. Okay. If you're not done, it's okay. I just want to go over with you guys how this uh, last page works. So if you want to keep working, you can. Just keep your ears open. All right. So I'm going to leave my picture right here so you guys can see. And then I'm going to fill this out based on my picture. You guys are going to be filling out your worksheet based on your picture. So the first one, or the first blank says, title of your art. You can basically call your picture anything you want. You can call it like a, a mascot of Homestead. You can call this picture Smiling Husky. You can call it anything you want. All it's asking you to do is create a title for your picture. I'm going to call mine Mascots of Homestead. That's going to be my name of my picture. because. There's always a name to a picture. That's why when you go to a museum, each picture has a little blurb or title for it. The next one, it says, I used to blank to make my art. So I have to write a couple things. I have to write down the word Sharpie. So I'll use Sharpie, comma. I use crayons. And that's it. So all I'd use was Sharpie and crayons. The next one. I created a blank. So basically, what is the subject matter or the thing that you drew? Was it an animal? Was it a food? Was it an activity? Was it a game? Was it a place? You would write that down on that third blank. I drew an animal. And then if I want to be more specific, I can create a dash, and I can create dog, and then another dash, and I can write down the word husky. That way it kind of breaks down what exactly what it is that I drew. All right, the fourth blank. They give you two blanks in particular because you might have to write a lot. It says, I use these elements and principles in making my art. If you flip back to the very first uh, page in your art workbook, there's a preview or not preview, but what the elements of art are. And if you want, you can try to figure out what you have to write down. So 
I used line, so I have to write down the word line. Um, the shapes, I use triangles and circles for my eyes and nose, so I have to use shapes. Let's write that down. I might as well write down form because I did use a little bit of that too. Color, I use color now. I couldn't write that before, but now I can. Texture, not quite texture. I mean, I could, I guess I can consider the, the zigzags, but I won't write that down. I use, nah, I didn't really use space and value. I didn't really use value. So line, shape, form, and color are gonna be the ones I write for that blank. All right, I'm gonna put this aside. All right, and it looks like the second to last line, it says, my artwork makes me feel, and then I can write down an emotion. I'm gonna write down happy right there, because it makes me feel happy. And then the last blank, you can basically write down anything else you want. So for instance, if you wrote down a video game or like, if you wrote down like uh, favorite food, maybe you want to talk about why you like those things on that last part. Um, so I would probably write down because, so I would write, I like, I like dogs because it is the mascot of the school where I work. I know it's really complicated, guys, sorry. But you kind of get where I'm coming from and what you kind of have to do to fill out this artist statement. But I told you guys it would be fun because you guys got to do kind of like draw whatever you guys wanted to and then talk about it. So again, um, class is about almost over. I'm gonna flip my camera around. If you guys wanna show me what you did or show everyone what you did, you can.